Hey there, I am back with another deck review and today we're going to be looking at Tempo Lab Plus from Arc Playing Cards. Uh, this is a recent launch on Kickstarter uh, and the most deluxe version of three different versions of the Tempo decks that Arc Playing Cards did. Now, before I get into the review, I want to give a big shout out to Paul. Thank you, Paul, for loaning me your box set to show off on the channel. Really excited to jump into this one. Uh, the Tempo series is a little bit more uh, cardistry focused, but they also uh, really go after some innovative concepts in packaging. Arc has been doing that with all of their different decks, looking at really unique ways to design the boxes to give you a really unique experience. And that more than anything is what I'm excited to take a look at. Now, the outer box is really simple, clean. Uh, it's all done on this black matte finish, almost like a soft touch finish all the way around it and then has small touches of this holographic foil that just gleam with that rainbow effect. You have Temple Lab on the top of the box, and then in really small letters, just ARC playing cards on the front, and nothing else on any sides of the box. So very sort of nondescript looking box, but you get into the unique packaging as you open it up. So as you lift the lid, it kind of unfolds out and presents the contents inside. You'll see how it sort of forms a little pedestal there really cool effect overall as you open it love that look and then you have the deck itself to sort of position beautifully inside now you get a second item in here we will talk about that in a second but here's the tuck case and then you also get this this is a uv light emitting pen it says temple lab on the front i think this is just a regular uh, sort of flashlight that you can get elsewhere it is rechargeable uh, but it is branded with Tempo Lab and a nice fit with the overall set. Now, why they include a UV light pen? Well, to get into that, we'll have to talk a little bit about the tuck case. So let's get into that. Now, the tuck case is just this black and white finish with little hits of that holographic foil. And it has this very complicated look to it overall, kind of hinting at what we're going to see as we open this up again. Uh, but the design is just a bunch of geometric shapes, almost in the shape of an X overall. So you have this black and white X, Tempo Lab, a little hourglass shaped seal here at the bottom that marks this as a limited edition out of 2,500. And of course you can see it's designed for cardistry. So you turn to the sides, you've got Tempo Lab playing cards on the sides and then produced by D on the bottom and Tempo Lab at the top. So very simple look to it overall but it takes on a little bit of extra depth as you use the UV light. So if you use the UV light and you shine it on it, so it'll shine it in the spots over here, you'll see that parts of it turn purple. And so some of the ink on here, there's like a reactive ink that's covering pretty much all parts of the tuck case. And as you shine the light on it, it takes on a completely different color. It's a really cool idea, gives you something fun to play around with. And by the way, because it's UV reactive, if you bring this out into the sunlight, it'll almost immediately, the entire box will suddenly glow with this purple look. Those purple hits come in all over the X in the back, the letters on the side, pretty much anything you see on here that's white will turn purple as you shine, hit it with that UV light. And then as you can see here, it just sort of quickly fades away. So very cool, fun little thing to play around with. A little bit gimmicky, sure, but it's a lot of fun. But the other part that's really fun is how this tuck opens up. You'll see these extra little folds and flaps here, and that all comes into the mechanical element as you open up this tuck case. So what you can do here is you pull out this flap that sort of extends from the bottom, and as you open it up, and then you give it just a light pull, and the whole thing just sort of opens up and I feel it's inspired a little bit by the, like a car hood opening up. So very cool, and then there's the cards inside, and you can see just sort of how complicated the engineering is on this one, so with this little, almost like telescoping tuck inside, and then the opening and closing mechanism with that lid. Very, very cool. And allows you to, with a little bit of difficulty, get at those cards inside. So that is the very complicated tuck case and packaging that was included with Temple Lab, and I think they did a really great job in giving a unique experience. Uh, but what about the cards themselves? Well, here they are. We'll start with the back design. All right, so the back design uh, is a really simple geometric look, but it's given a brilliant hit of that purple foil. The entire back of the card is foiled, so you get that purple foil and even little bits of that silver at the top there. And then the black and white that you see here is kind of printed over the top. 
uh, but very cool look to it. Love the geometric shape and the simplicity of it. Tempo written on the top and the bottom and really great shine to it overall. Uh, the foil is not just on the backs of the cards, but also on the faces. As you'll see here, full foil on the faces of the cards, really brilliant look to it overall as we look at the pair of jokers here. You have a black and a white joker, and they're kind of continuing that geometric look, the black and white J printed on there for joker, and then tempo, a little bit with a joker, joker, joker written across there. Uh, but a very cool look to it overall. I like these little extra touches on the side, these little elements that extend out to the edges. Gives it a cool look if you wanna use this in fans or something like that. So as a cardistry deck, I love border breaking elements, if you will, there. But really cool look to them. Love the shine of that purple foil, that purple pink sort of color. Really great look to it. All right, so there's your two jokers. Your other extra cards are just sort of add cards. So one for Tempo Lab, explore the possibilities of cardistry deck uh, and then produced by D on the other one. So there's your two extra cards. Now the rest of the deck is fully custom but definitely strays into familiar territory throughout most of it. Now you can see here that black and white stripe that extends to the edges is on all the cards. The ace features a fairly standard pippin index in the corner and then a large geometric spade pip there in the middle with tempo and then ace repeated along that side border there. Tempo Lab at the bottom, uh, but really nice ace uh, spade pip there in the middle. And then of course that brilliant foil through the rest of the deck really shines and shows off. Uh, the other aces are all much more of a normal look to them overall, just the pip in the center. Of course, not all that normal, just with that uh, purple foil and then the overprinting of the black and white ink, uh, but still a pretty classic feel to them overall. Now you'll see the black cards are black. The traditionally red cards are done in white instead, so just keeping that simple black and white theme. Number cards, more of the same, pretty standard layout for the pips overall. Uh, I've gotta say, I the black cards I think look nice. The white I think has a little bit of a cheaper feel to it overall. Almost feels like the white was painted on top of it. So I didn't really like how the white ink turned out on this one. It doesn't have quite as nice or integrated of a feel, but it's still very bright, bold, and stands out pretty nicely. There you go. We'll run real quick through the clubs and the hearts. So pretty much a classic bicycle feel to these, but with the extra added elements of the color pops throughout this. And then you get into the courts. The courts again continue with the stylized uh, bicycle courts. Uh, of course, that foil gives it all a very different feel to it. But at the end of the day, the designs are those classic courts that we're all used to. Here, I really think the, the white is sort of the big distraction for me. They're super bold pops of white that I think are a little bit distracting from the overall design. But still nice. That foil really does add a lot to the cards, even if they are just sort of a standard design to them. And that's the deck. Now, as far as handling, these are actually printed by Arc Playing Card Company. So they developed all the techniques that are used to print here. Uh, and they handle really well. The, you know, considering they're a fully foiled deck, they're very smooth handling. They brag on their Kickstarter page that they are one of the thinnest fully foiled on both sides decks that you'll find in the world. And I gotta say, I agree. They're definitely thin feeling. Uh, I checked these up against some of the Cardistry, or the uh, Cardamundi decks. These are thinner than even like the slimline foil decks that you'll see, like Invocation, uh, for example, from uh, from King's Wild Project. So kudos to them on achieving a really thin feel. Now I will say, despite the fact that they're thinner, they don't feel quite as soft or flexible as like a Cardamundi deck or something like that. And they're definitely a tiny bit heavier. Uh, so take that for what you will, but I do think that they've achieved a really nicely handling deck of cards overall. Uh, and really the star of the show with this one though is gonna be that packaging. So of everything that stands out, cards, impressive, fun to play around with, definitely handle well enough for card history, which is really their aim. But obviously the standout in this one's gonna be all of that packaging, the way the tuck case opens, the way that the, uh, the outer box opens, and then adding in that little touch of the UV light to make everything shine. So really cool package overall, definitely something worth checking out. Obviously these come at a little bit of a premium now, so they're not the cheapest thing to get a hold of, but if you get one for yourself, 
uh, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it, uh, especially if you're a fan of cardistry. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks again to Paul for loaning me your Temple Lab, uh, Temple Lab Plus uh, to, to show off on the channel. I uh, really enjoyed getting a chance to look at it. But that's it for now. Make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings. Let me know what else you want to see, and I'll see you for the next one.